So now that things are returning to normal after the past year and a half or so of craziness, I decided to go out thrifting again. And I found a game that I hadn't picked up uh, yet, um, Forza Horizon 2. Even though I have every other Forza game, I hadn't picked it up because there is already a better version that I had. So this uh, video will be on video game double dipping. When you think of uh, double dipping or buying a video game on multiple platforms, uh, there's probably one game that immediately comes to mind and you can see it here um, for obvious reasons. Uh, Skyrim, um, you know, there's lots of memes going around and, uh, you know, this is actually just a small portion. Um, I don't know what happened to my PS3 version. It kind of vanished. And uh, this also doesn't count digital versions. And I'm sure I'm not alone in buying this game multiple times. I mean, I think everyone probably has at least two copies of Skyrim for the various platforms. It's just, it's such a, uh, such a open game. I mean, you know, in addition to the DLC coming out, which, you know, kind of, uh, you know, got you just from, uh, you know, you buy the original version, then you buy, I think it was the legendary version, which included everything, you know, then once you do that, um, you're kind of looking for a reason to start over. I mean, most people do start over again, but, um, you know, just with a new character, invariably you always go back to a stealth archer, but, um, you know, you kind of always want to just have a reason to start from scratch. And, you know, even going for all of the achievements, uh, you can't get all the achievements in one run, except for uh, Oblivion Walker, which is basically the one where you have to collect all the Daedric artifacts. It is possible to miss uh, one or, I believe, more of those if you make an incorrect decision. Although, um, I think one of the main ones that, that you can miss was basically a decision um, that they made as a kind of a joke, you know, if... Uh, not really a joke, but I guess more of a uh, punishment um, for a certain decision that you make. Um, so, I mean, most people probably don't actually uh, miss any of these. So, um, and I don't think any of them uh, you can progress in the story to make it so you can't retrieve these later on. Um, it is possible that, you know, they will despawn or something. I'm not sure, but... Um, but anyways, you can't really miss any of them. So um, the only reason why you really play over again is, uh, you know, if you start from scratch on a new platform, which is uh, kind of why originally, I mean, I bought this for Xbox 360. Actually, I think I bought the PC version originally on Steam and then uh, Xbox 360. And then I think I, I bought the PS3 version um, followed by... Uh, the legendary version for Xbox 360. Um, I don't think I actually bought the legendary version for PS3, or maybe I didn't. I, I have one or the other and somehow it, it vanished, but I don't think I bought two copies on PS3, but you know, then they, uh, they upgraded it. Um, so, so, uh, you know, basically you had upgraded for the, uh, next gen platforms with better lighting and stuff like that. So, um, basically you end up buying it again and then, uh, and then they came out with a VR, you know, I mean, you're actually in the game. So, I mean, that's an improvement as well. So, you know, it originally came out for PS VR and then also on steam. So, um, so I mean, you know, and in addition to, you know, some of the, uh, some, uh, also you got switch. I mean, so now you can play Skyrim on a portable system. So, you can take Skyrim with you on the go, um, you know, in addition to, you know, the Alexa version and things like that, which are kind of more of a joke, but, and, um, you know, I think you just play it, you don't purchase it or anything, but as far as purchases, I mean, there's at least, uh, three or four different platforms you can get, whether it's, uh, you know, the old consoles, the new consoles, VR and, uh, portables. Um, then you have, on the original ones, you have multiple versions 
uh, with just the game or with all the DLC included. Um, and then you take all of those and you split those into two or three systems that were available at the time, you know, whether it's, you know, the Xbox, PlayStation, and uh, PC. Um, so there's, you know, I think at least 10 different versions that you can get. I'm sure there's more. Um, I was doing a count at one time, but I don't remember. I, I think I have nine different versions of Skyrim, and I think there's uh, uh, more than that. I think there's 12, 13, 14, something like that. So, um, anyways, yeah, Skyrim is definitely uh, the epitome of uh, double dipping, and I think almost everyone has, but that is not the only game you can double dip on. Another game that I've, uh, or a game series that I found myself double dipping on quite a bit is uh, Saints Row. Um, you know, Saints Row has a lot of the same things, you know, with the various, uh, with each game. Um, there's kind of uh, different reasons why it's been released multiple times. Um, you know, Saints Row 4, um, which is which is what I'm showing here, um, actually came out kind of right at the uh, transition between uh, between generations. So it's basically um, released... Um, on the PS3 and Xbox 360, and then uh, um, I think almost immediately uh, released for uh, now, Xbox One and PS4. Congress, so you know you kind of you kind of uh, almost bought them back to back the there, um, which I pretty much did. I think I bought the 360 version, and then um, you know I think I bought it for uh, Xbox One. Um, within a year or something like that so um, just for the uh, upgraded graphics and I think the uh, Xbox One version included uh, some or all of the uh, DLC as well um, yep you down catch up with you later Josh was another example of uh, Saints Row. You can see uh, Saints Row the third here. Uh, this is actually the full package, which includes all the DLC. Originally, it came out with just the game itself. Then they came out with the full package, which included the DLC. Uh, the PS3 version you can see here. Um, obviously, I had both the 360 and PS3. And then after that, they actually came out with the remastered version, which is a uh, highly enhanced, much better graphics kind of across the board. It's kind of almost a complete redo um, so it's basically the same game uh, but then you have uh, Borderlands also which has done a lot of the same similar stuff uh, Borderlands 2 I've bought multiple times I bought it originally and then I bought it, I think it was the game of the year edition and then it came out remastered as part of the handsome collection um, one wasn't included but they subsequently redid one uh, to play more like two um, and then there's also the pre-sequel, which was on originally released, and then it was released as part of the Handsome Collection as well. So all of those games I've bought multiple times. Um, three so far, I think, is just by itself. But um, And then you have Sleeping Dogs as well, um, kind of the same situation there. That, actually game, that game was actually ahead of its time when it was released. Uh, it was graphically uh, beyond what I think the 360 and, and PS3 were capable of. Uh, uh, PC did good, but once it was released later on PS4 and uh, Xbox One, that was a better version that showed what the consoles could do. So this video has basically just shown some of the uh, games that I've double, triple, quadruple, or, you know, even more dipped on. Um, so let me know uh, in the comments or, um, you know, this could be a... You know video response um let me know what games uh, you've double dipped on and uh, kind of what your uh i've gone through kind of what my mental rationales were <laughs> you know like i said whether it was uh, enhanced graphics to get the dlc um you know just because i wanted to get new achievements i want an excuse to play it again um you know uh kind of let me know what you've double triple quadruple uh, dipped on and and what the reason was and uh, anyways, that'll be it. Thank you for watching.